okay in this part of our topic will be subtract monomials or subtraction of monomials so let me put the basic rule on so subtract monomials how do you subtract monomials this is it to subtract and this will apply for all subtraction of monomials okay or for anything else subtract one monomial from another or from others it can be also we add the opposite the opposite of the monomial that is to be subtracted now if you don't understand that explanation we'll be going through some examples so that you can understand the explanation of it so simply to subtract one monomial from another we add the opposite of the monomials that is to subtract to be subtracted for example if i tell you this find the difference find the difference or find each difference each difference it simply means to subtract them okay so let me give you an example here we have a 8 x squared minus 3 x squared okay we are to subtract them our strategy here is to is that we will know that the terms that have the same variables have the same variables yes um with the same with the same exponent yes so notice these variables here have same exponent second power and second power they are the same type of variables okay and then we will combine their coefficients which means the 8 and the negative 3 and keep the same variable with the same exponent so we, we, the x squared x squared will not change but what we will be combining is the 8 and the negative 3 so let's see how we work this out our first step and i'm going to go in words also and then the other examples will take out the words so here you put this you put 8 x squared plus negative 3 x squared what we are doing here we are add the opposite remember by the definition here opposite of 3 x squared okay which is negative 3 x squared so we add the opposite of 3 x squared which is negative 3 x squared that is what we are going to do so now we do this we take the 8 x squared plus the negative well we get 5 x squared remember what we did in the subtraction of um, integers also we keep the sign of the largest value so we imagine that there is no variable there Who's larger, the 3 or the 8? The 8. What's the sign of the 8? Positive. Okay, now we, now we subtract the smallest from the largest. 3 take away 8, giving us 5. Okay, that's the next way how we can look at that. So here we have combined like terms. Combine like terms. Let's do our next example. B. Our next example is 6xy minus 9xy. But first thing, we need to note if they are like terms. Yes, they are like terms. Both of them have xy, xy to the same power each. Okay? They are explained likewise. So to combine their coefficient, we keep the sign, the, the same variables with the same exponents. Okay? So this is what I want you guys to do again. You will take 6xy plus open bracket negative 9xy we add the opposite of 9xy which is negative 9xy just as the same words stated here and then we'll say well, that gives us a negative 3xy let's go on next road we keep the sign of the largest value which one is the largest value the negative 9 so that become positive 9 right so we'll keep the, that sign which is a negative then subtract the smallest from the largest which is 9 take away 6 which gives us 3 we keep the same variable all right so that's how we do that one there 
let's go for our next one c negative 3 r minus 5 minus 4 r here i will advise you that you combine like terms bring them together so negative 3 r and negative 4 r so you're going to do this you're going to put negative 3 r plus the negative 4 r plus the negative 5 notice what we did we brought them two together okay so now because both of them have the same terms we, we will write like terms to, together which we did here we'll combine like terms now so let's look at this one so we combine like terms write the addition of negative 5 which is we did here as a subtraction of 5 so we go ahead both of them are negative so we keep that sign and that's 3 and 4 giving us 7 r and then the negative 5 and that's our solution let's go to a few decimals and see can we combine decimals does it work yes it works because we have 0 0.9 x squared um, negative 12 x no 1.2 x um, negative 0 0.5 x squared okay and then minus 0 0.4 x because it's long i'm going to continue the step right here okay we combine like terms which are like terms 0.9 x squared is the same thing as 0.5 x squared okay negative 1.2 x is the same term as 0.4 x okay so we combine and bring them together so we put 0.9 x squared plus negative 0.5 x squared close bracket and then we put here plus negative 1.2 x plus the negative 0.4 x okay so now notice both of them have x squared here so what do we do well we will simply say 0 0.9 take away 0 0.5 which will give us 0 0.4 x squared and we do the same thing here both of them are negative so we keep that negative sign and give us 1.6 x and that's our solution for that one there this is the sub the subtraction of monomials okay so you just have to be careful or just make sure that the um, terms are alike otherwise you cannot combine them okay subtraction of monomials